What's up YouTube? This is Collect Pokemon and today we're talking about Japanese booster box break Hong Kong style. So what exactly is that? Is that this is a type of box break that you can finally participate in. So you, I meant my American, British and Canadian kind of fans. So we are going to show you how this box break work and how you can take part. So let's take a look. So how the Japanese Booster Box Break Hong Kong style work is that you guys get to go on my website later on and we'll show you how as well to purchase a slot. The slot is a energy so you guys can choose fire, fairy, grass, double colorless and yes. Did I? Yeah. I don't have a double colorless energy so I'm using Eevee in this example. So basically what we're going to do, oops, let's zoom out just a little to have a broader picture. So we will be breaking this box, for example. Actually, I will open this box, but in the actual box break, the $20 slot version, we will actually open four boxes, not just one. But here, you know, just as a sample, I'm gonna open one box. Um, basically, you'll buy, your, you'll buy your slot and I will randomly shuffle these cards. Okay, um, I mean, if you guys tell me a number, if you tell me like five, I'll go one, two, three, four, five and then I will put that at the bottom. So maybe something like that. So after I shovel it, I this would determine the order of who gets what first. So the first card will be Lightning Energy. So if you chose Lightning, this will be that you will be the first person to go. And then later on, this, this stack here will show us what the order is later on. So this is to completely randomizing. So in a booster box like this, we're likely, um, uh, I don't have the. Do I have a V one? Let me let me open a V one. I'm gonna open this one. Uh, I have no idea where I put the recent Japanese booster box. The recent Japanese booster box you should have eight cards or so. Uh, this one I think there's four or five. But okay, it doesn't matter. I'll open this. So this is how it works. I will randomly open the booster packs until I reach a ultra rare GX or anything above that. Then it will go to the next individual. So So basically here we go. There are 10 slots and then we have four boxes and each box is around like five to eight. In, in the older version, there's I think five, uh, five, five to six. So everyone will get a chance to, you know, get a card they want. So we're going to open the break like this. Okay, we're going to open the booster pack. And we'll see if we hit any GXs or you know these so-called high rare cards. Hollow rare, nothing, so don't worry. So this pack has nothing, but all the cards in this pack will go to our lightning energy friend here. Then we keep going. And yes, I'm not keeping any of the cards, so you guys will be keeping all of the cards. Ghastly, okay, Porygon Z, still lightning guy. Okay, love this wide angle on the box break. Makes it look really nice. Okay, nothing. Still the lightning energy guy. Hmm, this is gonna get fancy. Whoop, Mew, hollow, and an ultra ball. Still the lightning guy. Now, basically, you can actually accumulate a lot of cards this way. Still nothing. Still the lightning guy. So all those, oh, I'm just gonna throw those away. All those um, cards that we've just opened will still go to the same guy. Oh, oh. Cottony GX. So that's where we stop. So lightning guy gets all of those cards. So we're gonna Put him aside like this, and we're gonna choose the next one. Fighting energy. The person who bought the fighting energy break 
will then be the next person. Okay, one, two, two, nothing. Okay, love opening SM10. This is really nice. I mean, the English booster box has been going up crazy. Oh, hollow, nothing. I really should not talk about like, you know, other sets or investment here because this is going to be a sample video of how the break works. So I'll stick to it. So yeah, so all the cards that are prior to the GX cards that we hit will go up. So back then there were these TR. So these are considered as, you know, I, I would consider as high rare in here. So basically these trainer rare is where we stop. So fighting energy guy has done his turn. Next, fairy energy. So this is to give a, a better pool and basically everyone will get something and they won't walk away being like, you know, sad because, you know, it's, it's, I don't want it to be like an all or nothing card break because sometimes, you know, if you do some card break, you simply just don't have um, anything. And basically, you pay a couple of hundred dollars and you get nothing. I mean, I, I, I feel that's kind of sad. Oh, Persian GX. So, very energy, got Persian GX. So then it's the next one. Oop, so this is double colorless energy. I need to find my double colorless energy soon. Or else I will accidentally ship this EV out. Yeah, and the shipping is a little... Um, Interesting because currently there's no cheap way to send things. It's all going to be FedEx and DHL from Hong Kong to America. So basically in the next part of the video, I'm going to explain to you how the shipping works. And before we do any of these breaks, uh, we have to fill up all 10 slots. So if you ask me, oh, you know, can I Pokemon? When... How do I know when the, the, um, oh, that's a rare hollow. When is the break happening? Well, it has to wait until it all finish all, all 10 slots. And then you'll receive an email about a particular time. And basically the YouTube link. Okay. Oh. Charged or rash ram, so oh, and a welder. So if you got double colorless, that's the card you get. So next, psychic. So what happens after we finish opening a first box? Well, we're gonna open a second box and a third box and a fourth box. But obviously, because this is a sample video, I'm just gonna open one box. So after we go through all ten slot, it will go back to lightning energy again. So he will have a second go, or he or she will have a second go into getting whatever cards. Whoops. Okay. Still haven't hit the high rare. So in the Japanese box, there's usually one card that is of a higher rarity. So like a full art or a secret rare or hyper rare or a gold card, something along that line. So we haven't hit it yet. Oh, okay. So nothing. So that's how the break is going to work. I know it's a little oh that's a high rare full art bird forgot his name. So next will be our darkness energy guy. Yep so that's pretty much how this concept works. So hope you guys know it and in the next part of the video I'm gonna teach you how you can actually purchase your slot and actually participate in it. Whoops. I don't think there's any more, but you know, it's just for the fun of it. You know, we might just as well open this box. So I'll just quickly run through it. There's only like three more packs. Whoop, okay. Two more packs. Whoop. One more pack. Oh, one side. Okay, so this booster box, technically we have four cards 
and one bonus. But um, in the new Sword and Shield era, we're gonna see the V cards, you know, basically it's anything high rarity, that's how we're gonna roll. So stay tuned for the next half of the video and that's how you can participate. Now guys, so what's up guys? So after we understand how this thing works, you can actually start participating in these Japanese box group break. First, we'll hit collectpokemon.com. So that's my website. You need to select English and US dollar or also showing in HKD, Hong Kong dollar. So after you click on that, you would then select special opening because, you know, breaking boxes are special opening. Then you're going to see the box that we're going to break. And you're going to see a shipping voucher. I'm going to explain to you guys the shipping voucher later. We'll click on the sample. So, like I said, you guys can get to choose your energy. And if you select like lightning and metal, that's the thing you like. You would put add to cart. And once being added to cart, you can say check out. Up. Oh, note that the quantity is selected at 2. That won't work. Remember to leave the quantity as one and then you just click on check out Because my current location is Hong Kong the default setting is Hong Kong, but you can select United States. So uh, ooh, United States. Oh, by the way, if you select anywhere but United States UK or Canada, it's just gonna have no shipping option So the only shipping option that will show up is after you click United States Select your state. Um, what about Alaska? That kind of sounds cool. Um, all right. So, if I want this to be shipped to Alaska, uh, just a group break, I would just click, click on this one. Japanese card break immediate send out. So basically, after the break, after the live video, we will send out the cards. All you have to do is put in your first name, your last name, and then your contact number. The contact number is important because all the FedEx and DHL requires a contact number. And then the ship to billing address, and then you click continue. So I'm just gonna, you know, you know, just gonna type some random stuff. Test. Don't worry, that address there is not mine. Test and test. And I think that the number will not work too. So I'm just gonna go like, I don't know, four one nine zero 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 one 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 one, for example. Okay. So then you click on thing. Uh, you click on next, and then this is it's free checkout for me because I have some credits in the account but you should see a PayPal option and a pay me option the pay me option is actually for, for locals uh, which you guys have no access to the PayPal option is the one that you want to click and then you pay via P PayPal make sure that the shipping address was entered correctly and voila you have just bought yourself two slots for this break and remember the $20 break is from uh, four different boxes. So this is not just two boxes. This is four box. So we'll break four box and it's just $20 for each slot um, Yeah, so moving back to the voucher. What if you decided let's go back Expect to check out What if you decided that you don't want it to be sent out right away? You want to hold on to it. You want me to hold on to it for a while because you might do other uh, break and you just want you know cheaper shipping fees so you're gonna hold on to it and say you know it'll be sent out later but you still have to fill in your address so basically you will not be charged any shipping fee by doing so then later on when you decided that hey you know collect Pokemon I want my cars to be shipped okay so I would you know at the end of each week I will take a look at the purchases of here, the shipping voucher. If the shipping voucher purchases that week matches any of the card break, uh, and those cards are still in my possession, I will send those out. So that's pretty much it. And you know, I, I I'm most likely gonna email you if or contact you if I still don't see any shipping voucher uh, for one month because that I would assume that you might not want those cards. Okay, so I will do I will send an email to just double confirm, but that's how this game works how the mechanism works so So that is the Japanese booster box break Hong Kong style so how and when would you know? Um, yeah, I would post a video telling you guys hey, you know a new break is up You know go and you know participate go and have some fun and then and once it fill up 
I will find a time and then I'll email you about a time where we are actually open this, opening these boxes live. And because I don't foresee how popular this is, we might just run the testing session very, very soon. So hope you enjoyed this. You know, click the like, click the subscribe button and see you in the booster box.